That's possible. If it's like the uh, the original game, there should be a, f uh, a shield when facing the dragon. Yes. Well, let's go in here. Uh, rough card pa passage leads downwards. Oh. Hey. We are here. Yep, we're here. Know this room. Center the edge of a lava-filled chasm, impossible or Im no impossible as it seems. A faint, terrified scream of some unfortunate soul echoes within its depths. <clears throat> Rickety bridge held together with nothing Rickety. but frayed rope. It's a good word, isn't it? Rickety. And rotten wooden planks. As if a warning, a mounted skull stands in guard in front of it. Oh, that's what that skull is. Oh, it, but It'll it doesn't recognize... Fine. It doesn't recognize the skull. Uh, appearing over the chasm, you nearly lose your balance. A blast of warm air greets you, and a faint cry of some unknown creature close on its tail. What is this? I don't know. Carving in a keystone is of a circle within a shield outline. Strange writing covered the stone. You think you recognize the name Ma Majal amongst the hard to decipher language. I I wonder if that's a hint. I don't know. It looks like an looks like the eye it looks kind of cartoony to me. Oh, can I take this? Attempts to lift the large stone, but it proves too heavy. Boy, you better be paying attention to that flailing torture you're holding. If I might give you some advice, make sure you have enough unlit ones to light before that one goes out. No, no, I'm good. Thanks, Skull. Try your spell here. <laughs> what am I using it on? Sweat beads of your brows, you concentrate on the glyph and then release the spell. The power of your magic flies about in a spectacular fashion, but does little else. Wait a second. I am literally surrounded by braziers everywhere. What do I care if the torch goes out? Try it on the archer who shot you. Thought. Oh, oh, it's not letting, it's not even giving me a chance. I can't. As you attempt to cast your spell, a furtive movement within the cave messes with your concentration. The result misfire explodes painfully in front of you and singes your eyebrows. Do, do I now have singed eyebrows? No, it doesn't say that. <laughs> I wanted it. I mean, I guess the, the flame is kind of mild there. Whatever. Shall I walk through the uh, through the rickety bridge and die? Oh, after saving, yes. Oh, no, I'm not going to save. I've uh, saved in the last room before we went running around... Uh, um trying to do shit with skulls, which well, didn't work. Well, knock yourself silly. Go ahead. Well, I, I guess I could. Uh, there is no hit command this time. I can't punch myself. There's always somebody trying to ruin your fun. <laughs> the bridge... I love the screaming. The bridge creaks and sways under your weight. Undaunted, you take two more steps before the frayed ropes and rotten planks give way, sending you reeling into the chasm below. Your screams echo and reverberate off the cavernous walls long after you hit the bottom with a sickening thud. Oh, that's not lava down there? <laughs> you didn't make it to the lava. You bounced. What a pity that you have failed in your grand quest. Jeez. Uh, so, F9? Skip. Huh, so F9 does nothing. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that's weird. <clears throat> All right, well, we know the skulls don't work. I'm not going to bother picking them up and cluttering my inventory. We didn't really get anything out of that whole thing. We haven't made progress other than just moving around. I don't Let's go across the good bridge. Yeah, and I don't see anything that we can pick up here. Just stones in the ground. What is this? Half buried cave stone appears to be a keystone. You can go back and make a right. I could, but we're going down this way, and I think the the last last week when we were playing this, mm, this is the uh, the same thing we did last time. Almost exactly. Hey, it's a wraith. <clears throat> I didn't spot Greek. Bastard. Hmm. Oh, we don't. Do we have the special torch? No. Uh, dense fog greets you at the stone passage, opens in a small chamber. The temperature plummets as a creature materializes in front of you. It flinches from the light of your torch. Well, I'm just going to take these torches here. Don't mind me. I don't think we have any special torches. Yeah, I have six I will, regular torches. Will a regular torch do? I don't know. Let's find out. As you cry, you swing the lit torch at the wraith. The ethereal being instantly is enveloped in a bright flash of flame. Its pitiful moan resonates in your head. All right. Huh. The same, but different. Yeah? What's this? It's a rune, and it's firmly attached to the wall. It's glowing with power. Uh, here's a solid door carved with a strange design and or ornate filigrees. The hell is a filigree? It's an ornate. Hmm. Hey, it's a cloak. The fabric of this cloak has wispy, almost ethereal feel to it. <clears throat> I have a quip option. Okay, I am now wearing the cloak and I look kind of funky in my corner here. Well, I think that's worth saving. Be... Now you won't be burned up by the dragon. Oh no, it's... Uh, I think it protects for... Right after the mirror room? Doesn't it also make it so that you can stand the uh, the dragon for much longer? Maybe. I can't remember. Creak of the door opens. Just... I don't remember this map being this big. Also, what is this? That must be the keystone you looked at. Maybe it was in the uh, the footbridges. Well, I don't see anything else we can do here. I'll try hitting this. Oh, try as you might, you cannot pull the room from the wall. Well, that'll come in important lately. We, we got a dirk. I gotta imagine I use that. Try to pry the rune from the wall with the dirk as if it's held by some magical force it won't budge. No? Alright, well, we'll come back for that. Wow, this is very different. You wade chest high into the sewer waters, wondering just how you got roped into this adventure. <laughs> this is... There's a... I could hit it. Glass bottle is empty. Uh, weathered moldy scroll has held up over the years. I wonder what it's made of. It's weird. I thought you got teleported and not roped in. Ha ha! Ha ha! read it. <clears throat> hey, you read for a little bit. As you read the scroll, one particular word stands out from the rest. Entrays. 
In your mind's eye, you see the glyph glowing with power as you write down the strange marking in your spell book. The scroll crumbles in your hands. You have learned a spell. I have? See what does it do? Trays. I don't know. I don't remember either of these from the original. They, they weren't in the original. A metallic screech echoing in the recesses of your mind. So Invocan has like a specter, and this one has a metallic screech. Interesting. You want to turn that little valve down there? Oh yeah, I just saw that. Hey, it's got a fork. I can eat it? What? Oh, I can eat the water. Okay. Just high water. Oh. No, I can only look at the water. Well, I mean, let's, uh... Let's save and drink the water. Go up some of the water. Ha! Ah, tastes terrible. You, you now have the shits. Iron door latched shut by nothing more than a simple bolt. We'll open it. Go back to the bolt to opening the hatch. Can I climb up there? Oh, yes, I can. Um. You jump and manage to find a handhold within the hatchway. After a frantic movement or two, you manage to pull yourself through. The room reminds you of the Elven Fun House at King Otto's Fair. Hey, I remember that. You remember taking your sister, hoping to lose her in the re reflective maze. W what? Why would you do that? Hey, I so see these a broom. Are the mirrors. These are the mirrors of doom. Yeah, I get the broom. There's also a vial over there on the ground. Ooh, vial. It's a vial vial. With the exception of a crack, this vial is unremarkable in nearly every way. So it got nothing in it? I'll take it. Take the vial. Last time I was here, there were wizards about... I don't like what happened to this place. Here's a broom. Probably reminds me of, like, elves... Elven brooms. It's a bunch of bristles bound together and attached to the end of a wooden handle. Basically a broom. We'll have that for the Sphinx later, I guess. I guess. Got some torches. You should probably save. There we go. Because one of these mirrors is going to pull you into space. I'm sorry, man. I don't <laughs> have a hammer to smash the mirrors, and I don't think I can hit them. So you look at your reflection in the mirror, it bulges out a bit as if something's pushing from the other side. Oh, that sounds like uh, we need to punch that one. You nearly break your knuckle, striking the reflective surface. Perhaps some it's enchanted in some way? Reflection of the mirror is a distorted image of yourself. Your head looks much larger than the rest of your body. Huh. Oh well, well, let's back up. You attempt to go through the opening behind you. A large block of cold granite blocks the way. Oh. Okay. You'll have to go through the hatch. Because we come around the wrong end. Okay. Okay. It is not as bright anymore. And that's a nice effect. I gotta give credit where credit's due. That's a nice effect. Uh, all right, all right. I think that's worth lighting a torch. Do I just use it? Oh, that's nice. Instead of having a pair, it just ditches the one and replaces it with the other. It says Epor on the wall. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Do you see Epor? That back here. In the Epor room. It does. Oh my god! <laughs> Meaning of strangely familiar the letter E P O R have been carved into the wall. Legit. 
They've turned it into an Easter egg. Speak it. You speak the written word into the empty room. Epor, you say with confidence. You were hoping this was going to be easy, but it's not. Yeah, they put this here for other people. Sewer or reservoir system for the castle. The moldy mildew and monster speckles the stone with the chamber. Well, I don't see anything else in this room. I mean, there's stuff under the water, but I can't get to it. All it does is just... I think we got to get rid of the water somehow. If that's a thing, they could have replaced the uh, the whole rope system. Oh, there was also a, there was a secret wall somewhere in here. No, don't look at water. And I don't see the secret wall this time. Hmm. Well, should we go down the other leg of that hallway? So we've got an, an empty glass bottle and a vial and no option to do anything except hit it. I mean, I could hit it. I, I broke Good it. Good job. I broke the vial. I broke it immediately. I guess I could eat the glass like a normal person. <laughs> like a normal person. Like a normal person. Got to find a way to catch one of those arrows. So we've got a whole other section over here. And I guess that's the next place we go. Hey, this looks vaguely familiar. Series of ancient doors and circles. This small hallway it looks as if a battle may have been fought here long ago. The hand st stitched sack made from the hide of an animal. You rummage through the sack, finding dice, a scroll, and a gear. Taking these, then you discard the sack. Gold deep gouges on the back of its head. Telltale signs of a death blow from an axe. A black axe? Perhaps. Alright, all of this is different. Yeah, well, yeah. There's, It's the same but different so far. Like, this is the room that was on the right of the hallway. But, yeah. Large gear is a series of runes and glyphs inscribed into it. I don't remember the gear. Dice like these are typically used by fortune tellers. Each face of the die contain a different symbol that, when rolled, can divine one's future. Ooh. Seems like there would be more than 12 outcomes of the future. Sorry, 36 outcomes of a future. Uh, worn and crinkled, made of pressed wood pulp. Wood okay. poop. Wood poop. Uh, while the writing is difficult to discern, you manage to glean a few key phrases. The danger is real. Alert the surrounding land. Seal off the passage to the gatekeeper mountains. <laughs> Head to the reactor. <laughs> and this guy didn't make it. Now, the wax seal shows an eagle in flight and is signed by someone named Fandril? Can we learn about Fandril in one of the other letters? Seems like he... He might have been one of the others of the Circle of Twelve. So, I think in this one, uh, the one about the dog, they had mentioned stuff being below the sewers. Nope, maybe not. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, Fandrel, this misses of much importance. 
We must coordinate our efforts. Seek the obelisks in the acolyte den below the sewers. Ah, because, because in the original game, there was a secret passage in that sewage area that led right. to a place where you could summon the druid. All right. Open up some doors. Get some... With a grunt, you push the door open. Um, yeah, man. Uh, which which way you want to go first? Let me quick save. Well, the right. What? what? The right should be the the lake room, correct? Am I? Yeah, it should be, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's what's going to be. I feel a mighty magic yeah. has been loosed, but I can't tell what. It says York. Uh, you want to take a look at yeah, the lake? Let's, yeah, lake. let's just bebop over there real quick, and sure. we can come right back, because... Ah, no, it's still a lake. It's still, still, still a big lake. lake. The caverns, you find yourself on the shores of a placid underground lake. It's placid. Here, placid. Do you think this... Do you think this stairway that leads up goes to the developer room? Oh, this isn't that waterfall, is it? No, this isn't that waterfall. Maybe that waterfall is, like, way over there. I don't know. It's hard to tell from the distance, but you think you see a skeleton chained to a rock. Perhaps you need to get a little bit closer. Look. Somehow. Oh, no. <laughs> Not yet. You okay. see a shark Let's this back. time? Let's back out of the... Well, you want to go up the stairs real quick? Well, yeah, of course I do. There's nothing here to do, though, just in case. Hmm. Yeah, I did notice when you click on things that can be clicked on like that it highlights it. Curving set of stairs leads up to the darkened passage. Okay. I have questions. A magnificent waterfall cascades from the mouth of an ancient stone statue. Painstakingly carved into a cavern wall. Below it, undulating mass of waters hovers playfully above the river. So, hey, uh, hey, Captain. You know, I, you know, I love you, right? I am uh -huh. going to, I'm going to carve your visage out of this cavern wall. And because I know you, you constantly have a drinking problem, I'm just going to have you constantly vomiting. You're just going to be vomiting. That's just what you're going to do for the rest of eternity. Right, that's cool, right? That sounds like love to me. Symbol. All right, so there's that symbol again. Yeah, we saw it in the sewers. It's a marker right. that looks like a dwarven I... craftsman stamp. Oh. I'm, uh... I don't really see anything of interest here other than the vomiting, uh... The vomiting statue in the mark. We're, we're, we're not going to discuss this will-o'-wisp. What? 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 What are you talking about? Oh, I see. It's a BDSM symbol. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> He's right. It is the BDSM symbol. Um, I, I refuse to acknowledge fourth dimensional creatures that inhabit my realm. What, what fourth dimensional creatures? Let's get out of here. Yeah. Alright, we'll talk to... We'll talk to the light. Speak to the water elemental. You bow and introduce yourself to the water elemental. Hello, my name is Yarl. You playfully like dance. Huh? Jari, Jari. Okay. It squirts me with water. All right, that's cute. That's that's actually pretty cute. Can I? Can I? Cute. The water's probably deadly. Hovering before you is an entity made of entirely of water and mist. Ooh, the liquid element. Uh, continuously forms and reforms in a hypnotic way. That's uh, not really hypnotic. You, you've seen one hypercube. You've seen them all. Tesseracts. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, this guy knows. Uh, I don't want to hit him. I might want to take him. 
You lunge in the water elemental, succeeding in only getting drenched if the creature slips through your grasp. I think we're going to need, like, the ice thing to fuck with it. Uh, tall waterfall. You attempt to traverse the pounding waters of the fall. The sheer power pushes you back. Ah! It is now a, uh... So it's it's now a puzzle to try and get, uh, get through the waterfall. So this pit was correct. It's the same. And look, we have the BDSM symbol. We have Epor over here. Can you interact with the BDSM symbol? Let's see. Uh, no. I can look at it, and that is it. Also, there's no, like, rock-fallen uh, stairway to yeah. blow up. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. The, uh, the music's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, me too. Really uh, okay, so, um, it used to be, uh, the, a series of sarcophagi, which sounds like a movie, uh, or the, the dragon place. Uh, hey, what? Step on over. The dragon, let's talk to the dragon yeah. place. I don't hear a no. Teeth chattering, you stand within a cold cellar, hugging yourself for warmth. A creature made of ice hovers playfully on the far side of the room. Ah, this is how we're doing it. Ah, I see a torch, I gotta imagine I wanna take that. Don't set that, there's another torch. Congratulations, you have earned the torchbearer achievement. Thank you. No altar this time. No, there's a there's looks like there's a key in a uh, ice cube. Yeah, it's a chunk of ice as a metallic object frozen inside. Can Isn't you punch these things? Maybe. Uh, a long white object is frozen inside this piece of ice. Oh, it's a scroll. Achievements were a mistake. <laughs> just like anime. Well, I'm gonna. Oh my god! I'm just gonna save before I use the torch on the key thing. Is that oh, a hey big there. frozen spider above you? That fucking work. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, how, that look at that, huh? <laughs> uh, wrought iron key, half health, blah blah blah. Take it. So. I'm kind of afraid that if I do this, it will burn the... Oh, no, no. Bring the torch close to the eyes. It takes a few moments, but eventually the ice melts away, revealing a scroll hidden within. Just open it here. Oh, cool. They actually drew it opening. Ow. Uh, you scan the scroll, and a particular word almost seems to jump out at you. A gap! Or paga. If you read it backwards. In your mind's eye, you see the glyph glowing with the power and quickly write down the strange marking. We realize it crumbles. Learn to spell. Let's take a look at the spell. 